everyone how are you welcome back to my channel um, this is Rashida Malade Sule welcome back to Merit let's talk everything women today I was you know going over my daily devotion and I felt in my spirit that um, many of us need to hear what I read today my daily devotion so that we can know that you know God doesn't find joy when we're going through stuff, when you're going through life, God is not just up there like, yeah, let her go through it. You know, he's really, really, he's a very, very um, loving and caring father. So as I was reading this today, it just, it really blessed me. So I wanted to read it out to you. So maybe it'll bless you as well. It says, um, laughter is the one too that throws confusion into the camp of the enemy, especially when the devil is doing his worst to fill you with depression and sorrow. So that's to say that the enemy comes and tries to fill you with depression and sorrow. It says, um, when his enemies assemble themselves together to plot against him, and his purpose and his anointed one, which includes you and me. It says that God laughs. God laughs when the enemy is plotting against us. That is his first response. He laughs. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. If your father is laughing over the plots and the sweat of your enemy over you, hmm, who are you to cry and to be sorrowful? We sit there and we cry and we complain and we moan and we, and it's literally saying that when God is seeing that the enemy are plotting things against you, the first thing he does is laugh. Why do you think he laughs? Because I was thinking to myself that, wow, you know, God has an amazing sense of humor. He really did make us in his own image because can you imagine somebody plotting something against your child and you, and you find out that they're trying to do something to your child? <laughs> What? You telling me you're just going to sit there and you're not going to do nothing? No. I'm going to laugh because I'm waiting for the one who's going to try to do something to my child or my family or my husband. I'm waiting. So this is how God is. This is this, is this you know, sense of humor at, at, as well. It says you need to understand that God understands Laughter. It is one of the best tools for confusing the enemy. It says, um, if you know Mark Twain, that wrote, against the assault of laughter, nothing can stand. Not even the devil can stand a God-inspired laugh. Here's Job's friend and out the second scripture, because the first scripture is Psalms 2, 1, 6. Let me read that to us real quick. And I'm reading from the contemporary word, Psalms 2, 1 to 5. It says, why do the nations plot? Why do their people make useless plans? The kings of this earth have all joined together to turn against the Lord and his chosen one. They say, let's cut the ropes. And set ourselves free. For in heaven the Lord laughs. As he sits on his throne. Making fun of the nations. The Lord becomes furious. And threatens them. His anger terrifies them. As he says. So when you're going through it. And the enemy plotting all this stuff. And he got you going through it. Don't ever think that your father is just up there. Just like not thinking about what you're going through. He's laughing at it. 
Because have you forgotten the scripture that says, weeping may endure for a night, but your joy is coming in the morning. Your joy is coming in the morning. Why? Because God is going to fight that battle for you. He's not going to leave you to do that on your own. Don't ever think that whatever is going on with you in life, you're the only one that's going through it. No, God is trying to, you see, when you're going through something in life, you know, you need to ask God, Heavenly Father, what do you want me to learn from this? What am I to learn from what I'm going through? Set yourself apart. Find a quiet place where you can just sit and praise because you know your father's got you. Because you know your father's got you. He's not going to sit there and let these people, you know, eat you to the bone. No, he's not. He's truly not. That's if you believe that he's not. I mean, would you ever do that to your own child? Would you? No. Huh. So when I was reading, it says, um, never let battles or the devil steal your laughter or your joy. Because he knows that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Not the cry. Not the complaining. The joy. So when you're going through it. When you're going through it. Take it as all joy. You're not going to die in it. No. If it's not your time to go, you're not going to die in it. Take it as all joy. Okay? It says the human race has one really effective weapon. The effective weapon that we have is when the enemy brings it on. You just stand there, you laugh. <laughs> you laugh. Like, dude, really? That's all you got? That's all you bring in? That's what you bring in. Laugh about it. Okay? He's going to be confused. You just knocked him out because what he was planning, he thought he was going to kill you with that stuff. He thought, yeah, this is it. Once we throw this at her, she, she, she knocked out. But when your enemy, when your, when your opponent is coming towards you, you start to laugh. They don't even know what you're laughing at. Because they think that you're going to get on your knees and start begging, please. You're going to get on your knees and start saying, I give up, I'm defeated. But instead, you're laughing. But why are you laughing? Because you are the child of the Most High God. You know your father's not going to sit up on his throne and, 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 and watch somebody do his child any which kind of way. But make sure that you are truly the child of the Most High God. Because a lot of times, a lot of times, because I tell you, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a parent who let my son get out there and be doing the most. Consistently doing the most. Consistently doing the most. And acting as if, you know, my words ain't nothing. Like what I say ain't nothing. And then all of a sudden, God forbid. God forbid. He gets picked up for one of his, whatever it is that he's doing. He gets locked up. You think I'm going to be crying for him to take him out of, no. Dude, you got yourself in that. I'll keep praying for you. That while you're there, God will keep you. He'll protect you. And he will show you who he is while you were there. Because while you were out, you weren't listening. You weren't hearing word. Now he got you on lockdown. You don't be running around trying to get you out. No, you're going to do your time. But if you are a child, a good child, to try to do everything the right way and life still happens, you think God is just going to sit down and let life happen to you? Nah, man. Even if you're bad, he's still not going to sit down and let life happen to you. While you're in there, it's going to be for your good. You're still going to come out and triumph. I know a lot of people who came, who came out of jail and, and just turned it all over. They just made a 360 degree turnover and they became so much better. They went out there and started, you know, um, evangelizing or um, speaking to other children not to do what they did. Just, just had a whole nother leaf in life. 
So I say all of that to tell you that I don't want you to ever think that you going through something in your relationship and God is just sitting there like whatever. You going through something in your career, he just sitting there like whatever. You going through something in in your family or 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 with your children and he just sitting there like whatever. He ain't the God we serve. He ain't the father that I know. He ain't the father that I know. But look at what happened to Job. I don't think one, I don't think one tenth of that can happen to many of us. And we still, and we still stay alive. Losing everything, not just things. It's one thing to lose things. You can always get things back. But those children that died, you can't get another child that's going to be that age. Everything. And he still did what? He still trusted in the Lord. So I say, sisters, continue to trust in the Lord. Just the fact that you're trusting in him. And still holding on to him. Is the reason why he ain't got no choice. But at the end of the day to fight that battle for you. I promise you. You just continue to do what you know to do. You continue to love. You continue to sacrifice. You continue to do everything that God would do for you. You continue to do it in that situation. And I promise you, he will forever, ever come through for you. Thank you so much once again for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited. Um about this channel and talking to married women and all sorts of women about what I've gone through in life, good, bad, and testimonies. <laughs> um, and I'm just really excited. So if you're being blessed by what we talk about every now and then, share it with someone else. You know, be, be, be a person who's gonna share it with someone else. Like it, put out a comment, and I promise you I'll answer, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Remain blessed. Bye.